Phrasics, especially in professions like doctors, engineers, pilots, most deserving people suffer reservations. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to say this. Doctors, engineers, and pilots are not professions. They're people who are employed respectively in medicine, engineering, and aviation, which are indeed prof Use Grammarly or something, you know? There's no shame in it. I yeah, I use Grammarly. It's pretty good. I mean, she's talking about merit and the pursuit of excellence here, isn't she? Right. As someone who has often been mocked for the lack of posh English speaking skills, as someone who did not benefit from the ideal city girl upbringing or the Bollywood royalty lineage as far as the entertainment industry is concerned, and as someone who has been very outspoken about these issues, you'd think that Kangna will understand the role of privilege and doubt by birth. Okay, so I don't know if I agree with this, man, this guy because those, other po those positions are do need to be by merit only. I think if res uh, reservations should like high focus on education, it shouldn't like when it comes to job applications. If if it's not based on merit and merit alone, this a society is going to suffer, right? So I think again, I think that reservations or quota or whatever you're going to call it, should just focus on the root cause, which is the main root cause is the education, right? I mean, I understand that if somebody doesn't have the qualifications because of things that they could not um, control and based on the unfairness of society, like because society was unfair to them and they didn't have the enough, um, you know, the opportunities to get to where other people got to get the skills to become, I don't know, engineers, doctors or whatever. It is unfair to them, but... And you might think like, well, Armin, it's unfair to them. And if you want to fix education, and so that person has already missed that opportunity. It's too late for him. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be unfair to those individuals, even though it's not their fault. But as a whole, I think the society will suffer if you give jo engineering jobs or medical jobs or any other job to people that are less qualified to adjust for the discrimination, the past discrimination against them, right? Adjusting for this, you know, the effects of discrimination is going to be a very long-term investment. And I understand that people want fast results, but you're not going to get fast results. And unfortunately, because you're not going to get fast results, a lot of people that are now unfairly missed out are going to still remain missed out, like still, you know, the, whatever adjustment you're going to make, it's not going to help them. The adjustments that you're going to make is only going to show its effect like many, many years down the road. And unfortunately, society has to be patient with that. And I know this is unfair to a lot of people. It's, it is going to be unfair to a lot of people. But there's no, way, there's no other way. If you're adjusting the root causes, the effect of adjusting the root causes is only going to show itself in the long term. Unfortunately, okay. So I still I don't think that these whole quotas and reservations should be based on job based. It should be education based. Oh, you guys agree with me? No. Wait. No. 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 Harris. No. Oh, you guys agree. Uh, Harris only is saying. John tried to get it famous by using us just like Tarek Fata tried to use Kangana Ranut. She ignored him because he's a bigot. We dropped John because he's a bigot. Oh, very good comparison. Uh, let me see what else is going. Uh, what the hell is that? I'm not going to. Okay, so I'm saying the concept of merit you have in your mind and upper caste in their mind is different. So you'll have to watch uh, Faye D'Souza and Yashika Dut interview video shared with Susanna. Okay, is it okay? You guys are saying yes, yes. Some people agree. Oh, look at this. People agree with me. Yes, yes, yes. Thumbs up. No, this person disagrees with me. Um, okay, who else? Okay, let's continue. Maybe he adds some more points. But clearly, her interest in the matter is limited only to proving how she herself has been the victim of the lack of a variety of top-tier privileges, which is why we have no compunctions whatsoever about mocking her grammar. 
She's a big girl. She's a fighter by birth. She can take it. Anywho, in response, I'm going to try and pull off inception in your mind. For this to work, as you know very well, the idea has to be very simple, right? Here's a simple idea. Two girls, one rich. I already like the story where it's heading. One poor. Both get the exact same test scores in a pilot's exam or something. Oh, no, it's going in a different direction than I thought. Hold on, let's try again. It's a simple idea. Two girls, one rich, one poor. Both get the exact same test scores in a pilot's exam or something. Based on their test scores, both are indeed pilot material. Hmm. But who actually deserves the job? Now, what if the rich girl is not only rich, but all sorts of rich? And the poor girl is not only poor, but all sorts of poor? And the poor girl's test score is... What does it mean, all sorts of poor? Does that mean like lower caste? Just slightly less than the rich girl's. Based on the test... Wait. She sees all sorts of poor and than the rich girls based on the test score of wait so they both qualified but one of them is poor and all sorts of poor i don't know what that means so it's not only poor but all sorts of poor and the poor girl's test score is just slightly less so the poor girl's score is slightly less okay my okay because this is a job application i don't care who's poor or who's rich based on this Okay, based on this, I think that the person that got the highest score should get the job. I'm going to not play it and see what if my, if what is he going to say, right? Um, however, however, somebody somebody could argue again. I don't make this argument, but somebody could argue if the poor girl managed to get a score close to the rich girl, she managed to do something with a disadvantage. So that means that she's a higher accomplishing person than the rich girl. You know what I mean? Like basically, there was so many burdens thrown in her way, and she managed to overcome them more than like more than the rich girl had to do, and she still managed to get a similar score to her. Okay, so you could argue that even if the score is the same, or even if the score of the poor girl is a little bit lower. You should give the job to the poor girl because achieving what the rich girl achieved is a higher accomplishment than what the rich girl did. That's an argument you could make, okay? However, even if that's true, if that is, if that is true, then employers in a free market, employers should recognize that as who's the best candidate and just adopt that as a policy that should not be the law okay so you guys are agreeing with that okay i don't think if that is true then it would be in the best interest of for-profit companies to just adopt that policy i don't think that should be the law though Uh, Terrell saying that is actually what he is saying. He said a score just below. Notice the word just. Yeah, I think that maybe that's that's the point he's going to make. Let's see. Let's see if that's what he's going to say. Then the rich girls. Based on the test score, of course, the rich girl gets to be the pilot. But who among the two actually deserved the job? What if in the poor girl's performance, you were to take into account the history involving a systematic deprivation of means and methods that runs back in her family for hundreds of generations. Hmm. I'm not sure about my position anymore. I have to think about this more. There, inception complete. Now all you have to do is sleep over it. Hmm. It was worth a try. So yes, Miss Kangna, you're right. In the professions you mentioned, just like in every other profession, the most deserving people do indeed suffer. Yeah, I think if even if this is true, it's too much government involvement in this case when it comes to job applications. I think the go. I mean, even when it comes to education, I think this is um, the government shouldn't even tell private schools what to do, right? With regards, with regards to this, I think this this is something that the government could do only through public education. But telling corporations that they need to have quotas based on caste or something like that, I think that that's too much of a 
nanny state for in my opinion that could that could lead into more that could have so many negative outcomes i i'm not actually i'm not sure i have to really think about it for the reservation of privilege that we've already granted to the upper castes maybe government jobs could be like this but not private job not private entity jobs um you okay soraya is saying armin that's what he's saying the employers are mostly being cast this uh Croton is saying lower caste indians are allowed to get into colleges at below cutoff grades while high scoring high caste people are not accepted it's not based on wealth yeah it shouldn't be well it should be based on hmm i think it should be based on wealth rather than caste yeah i think it should be based on wealth rather than caste because if caste had any influence on you falling behind in society it will show itself in wealth somehow, right? And if you go based on wealth instead of caste, then you're adjusting for multiple factors, not just caste. So if you adjust for wealth rather than caste, then all the factors, not just caste, every single factor that attributed to you having a disadvantage will be taken account into, the fa into your wealth. Right, so I think it should be based on it would be better if education quotas were based on wealth. Oh, Harris Sultan agrees with me. I must be right then. Uh, if it was based on wealth rather than caste, but let's continue. Oh my God, this is just for fun. Look at, let's look at this. John is saying you talk like you talk like a BGP politician. This is the intellectual we have here. This is the comebacks you have against me to the upper castes. The caste based reservation is merely a means to restore. VSC, I, Atheist King 53 saying, I agree, wealth should matter, not caste. Yeah, because I'm not saying there's no caste discrimination. Obviously, I'm not saying that, but I'm sure I think that the effects of caste discrimination will, if, like, will have an impact on your wealth. So it will already take that into the, the if you adjust for wealth, the effects of caste discrimination will already be taken into account into your into your wealth. A uh, pretentious idiot is saying, by the way, I'm not, I'm not calling him a pretentious idiot. That's his username, his or her. That said, mandatory intercaste marriages, uh, come on, come on down to city hall and get your government spouse. <laughs> okay. That's a joke. Okay. You're being sarcastic. Means to restore balance and a highly efficient one of that. Perhaps it is this remarkable efficiency. That's a cause of concern for you and yours. Show me a single. Okay, so Torell is making up a good point. Torell is saying, yes, root causes should be addressed and marriage should be the focus. But if nobody will hire a Dalit with a PhD, then the door is still closed. Religion causes market dis uh, dysfunction. Yeah, so the problem is that that is already illegal. Like it's, so that is not, um, that, is, that should be, at, that should be adjusted by hunting down private, you know, so even if your f company is private and not government based, it should be illegal for you to discriminate ba based on the, uh, caste. So, okay, so just let's just be clear. If I say quotas shouldn't be based on caste, quotas should be based on wealth, in my opinion, I could be wrong. That is not the same as me saying that caste based discrimination should be fought against. These are two separate po two separate things, right? Yes, the government shouldn't be telling corporations, in my opinion, who to hire based on, like, to hire based on caste. I think that's too much government overreach. The government can adjust, um, try to help the uh, Dalits by having wealth quotas in education systems. But just because I don't think the government is too much government overreach to tell private corporations to hire based on caste, I do not think it's too much government overreach to hunt down and penalize private companies that are discriminating based on caste, okay? That is not at all too much government overreach. The government should definitely punish any, any private organization that is discriminating based on caste system. Those are two separate things, okay? Do not, but I'm not saying, Terrell, that you're saying that those are, two, those are two different things. And I think there's a lot of different clever ways to show that a company 
is uh, is discriminating based on caste. One of the ways you could do is you could have uh, sending resumes that have, um, you know, to different corporations with the same level of skills. But you could definitely, for example, in the resumes, you could put names that show people's casts, and you could do an A/B analysis to see. Uh, which resumes get the highest callback, and if there's any statistically significant um, difference between the callbacks that upper caste gets uh, compared to outcast, then the government has beyond reasonable doubt that a company is engaging in caste um, discrimination and penalize. Another policy that the government could have is that nameless application, make it a policy that the government's uh, that the companies do not get to see or know the cast of the people that are hiring, something like that. But I'm not sure if any of that is applicable in modern day India. Okay. Uh, anyways, let's continue. Single patient scorned by a Dalit doctor, and I'll show you 10 scorned by upper caste doctors. Wait, what? Show me one of that. Perhaps it is this remarkable efficiency that's a cause of concern for you and yours. Show me a single patient scorned by a Dalit doctor and I'll show you 10 scorned by upper caste doctors. Mm. Show me a wonky bridge designed by a Dalit engineer and I'll show you 10 designed by upper caste engineers. Uh, I, I don't know, there needs to be data and peer-reviewed like research that we could highlight here because we, like as much as I like this guy, we shouldn't like just believe this because he's telling us, right? Like, I hope, like, you guys don't believe me anything as well. Like, if I tell you something and you do, I hope nobody here, nobody here in our community ever thinks that, well, Armin said it, so it must be true, okay? Every time you hear something like this, or I tell you something, uh, you should be like, you should either be like, hmm, that's interesting. I don't know if it's true, but I'm going to keep it in my mind if I want to do some, dig, dig, you know, dig, you know, do some more research, right? But then if you actually want to, like, really know if something is true um then what you do is like you actually like well armin said something that seems like interesting if it's true let me go dig deeper or this indian atheist guy says something that seems um, wow i didn't know that could be p true or maybe it's interesting if it's true i wonder if it's true then you go dig deeper and actually do some look at some research to see if it's true but you shouldn't like if he says these are the numbers, as much as I like his video and as much as like he seems like he knows what he's talking about, none of you should hold beliefs just because somebody like is telling you that this is what the numbers are. Okay. Um, Atheist King fifty three is saying reservation quota is an important matter in India, but not a single politician wants to discuss it because it will cost them the vote of lower caste guys. Interesting. Interesting. Show me a plane crashed by a Dalit pilot, and I'll show you 10 crashed by upper caste pilots. So yeah, what? yeah, that argument cuts both ways, and it cuts a lot fucking deeper on your side, our side. It's best not to use it and make a fool of yourself. 